We're hearing more from Richmond's top prosecutor after a mail carrier was robbed at gunpoint in the city last week. Richmond Commonwealth's attorney Colette McEachin posted about the incident, urging people to avoid using outdoor USPS mailboxes. 8 News reporter Cheyenne Pagan has been looking into this story. She joins us live now in our digital center with more Cheyenne. Roland, in the wake of this recent robbery and all the other ongoing mail issues happening in the Central Virginia area, the Commonwealth's attorney says to think twice before using those mailboxes. It's been mail mayhem in Central Virginia. Most recently with a postal worker robbed at gunpoint in broad daylight on East Franklin Street in Richmond. The individual was able to obtain the arrow key that uh, is a universal key that the Postal Service uh, uses to unlock the blue mailboxes that are out on the public street. That's part of the reason Richmond Commonwealth's attorney Colette McEachin is urging residents not to use the outdoor public blue mailboxes. Instead, she says to use one inside a secured building like a post office or a courthouse. If you use a blue mailbox that is just on the street, no one can guarantee that your mail is going to be delivered properly. This incident coming on the heels of months of ongoing mail issues and delays in Central Virginia, all tracing back to the Sandston USPS facility. When lawmakers toured this facility, they told 8 News problems began when it underwent a modernization process last summer. They put in place a large number of pieces of new equipment automated equipment and that's great but the problem is is when you put it into that scale and it breaks down then you have big problems. McEachin hopes these problems at the post office get addressed soon. If mail trucks are being robbed when the postal carriers are away from them, if mail that you deposit into a public blue mailbox on the street is not safe, then that's a systematic problem. And Postmaster DeJoy and the Board of Governors of the Postal Service and our congressional um, officers um, are, need to do something about it, and I hope they, they do. An audit of the Sandston facility has been set to come out for the last several weeks, and we have just learned that it has been released. We're still looking through this report, and we'll have more details on our website at WRIC.com. Live in the Digital Center, Cheyenne Pagan, 8 News.